Welcome back for uh, continuing turns. Um, let's talk about how badly I suck uh, to start off. All right, a couple of rule mistakes that I made, which was horrible. No matter how many dice you get on an attack, unless it's specified otherwise, okay, it counts as one damage, okay, or one wound. Um, the guy over here that got the double sixes uh, against um, shouldn't have been dead. That assassin still should have had just one wound. Um, the other thing is, when you move as an action, you can't move twice in your two actions. You, can, you pick a move, and then there is another thing that's called sprint. So you would be able to move, roll a d6, add that to it, and you would be able to as they call sprint so there would be your move for six you would roll a dice and then whatever you get in that that's how many extra moves you would be as your second action so that would that would sprint would be a sprint action so we sc I screwed that up and notice how I was about to say we screwed that up it was me so instead of messing this up I'm gonna let the assassin die okay because we had gotten the extra sprint moves okay and what I wanted to do was basically, uh, since the assassin's got the extra movement, I think it'll kind of even out because they're kind of ahead, ahead of the way uh, here. So let's go with that and let's get going with turn three. I'm going to try to do as many turns as I possibly can. Now over here we have the stun uh, marker. This stun marker is going to go away after the assassin's turn. So let's start with the assassins. We've got three assassins. And let's start with the easy one right here. Um, she's going to move, and it's going to be one, two, three, four. Okay? The minute she comes in here and sees the room, her movement stops. That's the end of that particular action. So, what we're going to do is take a room card. There's a two, uh, yeah, there's a two here. I don't have my glasses on. That's awesome. And we're going to take two tiles. Let's put these over here so we can see where they are. Flip them over, and we have a five and a three, and of course one of them was the teleport, which is just awesome because now we have to put that back because the lowest number always comes out. And we're going to put that in place. Now the arrow has to match the arrow. We're going to put that out. It looks like a vat of acid, but right here, as you guessed, happens to be a Chaos Renegade with an auto pistol. We're going to take this tile, we're going to mix it back in, and eventually these things will come out and, and do what they, you know, the ones that we need. We need the control room and then the teleport in order to get over here. So, for her next action, she is going to um, shoot her. Nertron Shredder. Um, they have a resilience of four, the Chaos Cultus. So it gets two dice with no modifiers. And we're going to shoot. We got a six and a one. The six is one and, uh, is more than enough and kills our boy and gets him off. So fortunately, nobody's on alert. Okay. Our next... Uh, our next assassin, let's see, we're going to shoot, hmm, I wonder if we should move right in there, or not move, I wonder if you get two shots, each time, blah, 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 blah. I would believe that you can take two shots, so from a distance we're going to take, we're going to shoot here, uh, with our execution pistol, and what we're going to do is we're going to roll we're going to roll two dice we need fours or better and we get a six so we got rid of that one now do I take the shot knowing what's coming around the corner hmm. that's a good question two three he would actually see him. See, the problem is right here, the way this 
Space Marines going, he can go and move in there. I wonder if I try to move this guy out. And keep him far enough from him because we really don't want to alert him. But you got these guys coming at any second, and the minute they see him, end the story. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him over here. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six into this room. And we're going to pray that this guy here is able to get him. Because this way it keeps them everybody out of sight and then we can start trying to pick off people here. Um, so he's going to take his shot here. So we're going to go with him, the Vindicare uh, assassin. Uh, he shoots with his Exodus weapon. Oh, man. Well, this stinks. He only gets 1d6, but he has dead shot. And the Vindicar Assassin has not yet moved this turn. His shot with the Exodus weapon action has no maximum range, is resolved with a plus 2 instead of plus 1, and will cause two wound counters to be placed on the Renegade on a renegade that is hit instead of one. So he has not moved yet, so we can actually use this ability which is called Deadshot. So it gets a plus two. So we need anything but two plus two, thank God we use that uh, particular ability, is four. Four is enough to say goodbye to our friend here. So again, we're not on alert. So now we've got to move. Now here's what I did not do. Um, prior, the, the minute he came in this room, even though we negotiated this, I should have put that room down. So we're going to grab two rooms, and we're going to flip them over, and let's see what we got here. We got an 11 and a 4. I want to make sure, uh, control bank, oh shoot, one of them is the control bank of course, and guess what? The worst part about it is it's an 11 and the other room is a 4. So we have to put the control bank back over there. We're going to push this over here. And we are going to, because it has a chaos symbol, we're going to add a chaos warrior with a um, with an actual uh, uh, auto pistol. We're going to move this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, into this room. So everybody's out of sight. So now that it is their turn, let's mix up these rooms again. Now let's get to the point where these rooms are getting all discovered and there's really not a lot of room to... I mean, we're not going to have too many rooms left before we have to negotiate and put them down. So... With that said, it is now the Chaos's turn. Okay, so we're going to move our counter here, which is over here on this side. No, I'm not going to move the camera because you've already seen this board, and we'll get to this board, believe it or not, soon enough. So that's going to move to four. So we're on turn four for the Chaos. So we're going to start with this guy. We're going to roll a d6, and he's going to move three. One, and because the arrow is going that way, two, three and because the arrow is going that way it's facing that way so he's right there he's in one two three four five six nope one two three four five six he's not within six spaces of our guys so they cannot see him next guy that's going to move um well, let's move this gentleman here he's, he was going forward so we're going to roll a die and that's two, so we're going to move one. And let's see where he goes. And one, two, three. He's going to move four, so he's actually going to go forward. So that's good for our two assassins here. Now the next guy we're going to move is here. He's going to move four, one, two. So let's see where he goes. One, so he's going to turn around. Two, three and four. So he's doing pretty much nothing. This guy here is going to move forward. Three, one, two, since they cannot share the same space, he's going to move here. 
And we're going to roll a die to see which direction he faces. On a four, he's going to turn around. This guy here is going to move four. One, two, three, and uh, he's going to go three, which is four, and turn that way. Now here's the thing that I forgot to do, all right, even though we moved at all our uh, guys, um, before we do anything else, I forgot to pull the patrol card, I mean uh, the event card. Play an a auto gun at entry point three. Let's see how much this affects us. Entry point three, I believe, is there's one. There's five, four, two. I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh, three. Okay, so that's not going to affect anything that we were going to do. Let's just roll for him anyways, and then we'll resolve the last guy. One, two, three. And then you have to roll to see which way he faces. Six. And he's going to be facing that way, so going that way. Now, this guy here is going to get a shot. All right, he actually sees... He has an auto gun. He's going to shoot with his auto gun. That's two dice. All right. He's going to shoot into the assassin. He sees straight ahead, and he is going to go on alert. So anybody within six will also go on alert. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nobody else has alert. Okay. We have a five and a four and a five. There's no bonuses. Uh, on alert, one free, uh, no, that renegade, no renegades within six, get a free shot. Um, so that was a miss. We're going to let him shoot again for a section, second action. And he did get one shot, and he is going to put it on to um, the Eversol, Eversol Assassin. So there is one wound on him. He has a stamina two, so he's down to one wound. Now, as an action, as we said, he can uh, he can try to heal himself, and he has that uh, side skin heal, which on a roll of two plus, he'll be fine. So that's it for the chaos. They did all their actions. Raise alarm. Renegades within. Okay, so we're going to put this guy on an alarm. At the end of the turn, he's on alert, but nobody else in the area is in alert because nobody's within six squares. Um, so let's see here. Now we're going to go over to the assassins. The assassins are going to take their turn. So we've already negotiated this. I wonder if we can try to get around here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six within the walls here. Uh, five, six. Uh, let's go four. Yeah, that way you cannot see her at all. We're going to take two rooms. Let's just shuffle these up again. See if we can get something that we need. There's a two on it, so we're going to put two. And we've got a ten and a one. And this is going to face that way. And sure enough, one of these guys with an auto pistol is right there. We're going to put this back here. And for a second action, she's going to shoot with her Nero, Nero, Neuron Shredder. Let's see if it has any kind of special abilities that we can use. Uh, Acrobat, Hit and Run. Callous Assassin may perform a fight with a face sword action. Perform a free sprint action. She can also perform a normal sprint action in the same turn. Hmm, very nice. We don't need that one. What we need to do is hit hit with. Uh, we got two dice. We need fours. We need a four or better, and we got it. And that takes care of that person. Out of the question. Uh. Boy, we're in a bad predicament here. So we revealed that. This side of the board is pretty well taken care of. We've got to get in this area, but we got to clean up these guys in here. 
Um, first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to shoot this guy right here. So, with our Eversaw um, Executioner, Execution is going to roll two dice. Got a six. Got rid of him. The alert goes away, so we don't have to worry about pulling an extra uh, event card. Okay, so we killed him. Now I think we're going to roll one die on a two plus, which is a three, we get to heal this particular wound. So we're at full power here. Now, we've got to make some decisions here. And it's not, the minute I cross this person's path, well, I can sneak behind him. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all looking, facing that way so they wouldn't see me. Which means I can reveal this room right here. So that's what we're going to do. Now that still leaves us with the ability to shoot as our next action. So we're going to reveal that room. Again, we're going to mix these up. We're getting a little thin on, on these boards here. Hopefully we can get one that we need. Alright, what do we got here? So, we've got a 10 and an 8. Only, here's the problem with this one. Um, and it's not pretty. We've got two guys in here with auto, auto guns. So there's going to be some damage done if we don't take care of these guys. And These guys are on... Uh, they don't go on alert till they're at the end of their turn. So we're going to take our shot. Uh, when the Vinda car. Uh, he already moved, so it's a plus one. He gets one die. This isn't cool. There's no range on this either. Four. So we're lucky we got rid of the one guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the stun token here just so we can get through and he'll get his action and then he goes on alert and anybody that's close, it's going to get ugly because these guys are within, you know, depending on where they go. So we're going to take our rooms and put them back. That's it for the assassins. So it's now the chaos turn. So the chaos turn, we're going to move the familiar. We're up to five. Things are moving along here. I'm starting to get the hang of this. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I'm hoping to get this done in three vi uh, three videos. Maybe uh, we can get it done today. I don't know. All right. So we did that. We moved the familiar. We're going to draw an event card. We always draw our event card next. Alright, and I believe, you know, I really believe that this guy would be on alert. So he's on alert, so we're going to have to draw two patrol cards. I think that's fair enough, so. Okay, uh, place a Chaos Cultist with an auto gun at point, at entry point one. So we're going to go here, at entry point one, he has an auto pistol. Oh wait, uh... Auto gun. Okay, there we go. We got this guy over here. Now, the gods are fickle. That's our second card. Let's negotiate that. Move the chaos familiar back one square on the ritual track. If the if the chaos familiar is on a square labeled one, or the square or the square the chaos familiar would move to is occupied by another model. Do not move the cast familiar. So actually, we got an extra turn out of this. So that moved back. Wow, is that a break? Actually, one of these cards, the event cards, was in our favor. How about that? All right. So let's negotiate this whole mess here. Let's start with, with from here and work our way through. So let me get these uh, dice out of the way. Hopefully you guys can see this. You know, I wish I had time to get this painted up uh, the way it should be. 
But, um, you know, like I said, I wanted you to see this game. I wanted to do a playthrough of this. I really want to get you a feel, uh, to get a feel for it. I think it's a great game. So let's uh, keep going here. So uh, we now, Renegades on Patrol. We're going to roll four. He's going to go one. He's going to turn this way. Two, three, and four. Now the Chaos Space Marine. He's going to go three. One, two, turn, three. So it's going to be tough for anybody to get out of here. We're going to go up here. This guy here. He moves six. So he's going to go one. We're going to roll a dice. Let's see if he goes back. Six. So he's going to turn around. One. Uh, that would be two, three, four, five. So he's patrolling this hallway. Two. And he's going to turn around. Three, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So he's right there. So he's going to have to be negotiated really quickly. Uh, this gentleman here, he's going to move six. He's going to go one. We're going to roll a dice to see where he goes. He's going to go this way, turn. One, two, three. Where's he going from here? Five. Um, Three, four, five. Oh, this isn't looking good. Six. So he's in this room. Five, six. Yeah, okay. I got that right. This guy here. He's going to move two. One, two. Let's see which way he's going to face. Two. So he's turning and headed that way as well. This could be good for us. This could be very, very good for us. Hmm. If we can pull it off. All right, so he's done. We're going to negotiate this gentleman here. He's going to move one. All right, that's not a bad thing for us. This guy here, he's going to move one. He turns this way and faces that way. Now this guy, he's going to move one, two, well, one. And he is going to fire. Actually, I need to roll for his move. I'm sorry. Actually, I don't even have to do that. Well, no, he can't see around there. So he shouldn't even have been on an alert. Well, I guess he would be. Okay, so he's going to move five. So he's going to move one, two, and he's going to face this guy, and he's going to take a shot. Actually, the minute he came into sight, forgive me again, it's one. He sees him. He goes. On, he's going to fire at him as his second action. He gets two dice. He needs sixes. He does not get him, so it's a complete miss. He's on alert. Uh, okay. Just checking to make sure, line of sight, there's a wall here so they can't see him. So we did all the chaos uh, chaos movement. Um, renegades within six squares of Renegade who made a shot of fire go on alert. So he's within, so he's on alert. Oh man, we're going to have to do some killing. Because he made a shot and it's within six squares. One, two, three, four, five. So he heard it. So now he's going to be on alert and he's going to start heading the way uh, that we that he heard the shots. So we've got a problem here and we've got to figure out how to do it. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, this is not pretty whatsoever. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's start with the assassins. We're kind of in a bad way here. One, two, three, um, and then you would have to stop and fight unless you go around and try to come into this corner to unleash that. Now, that's not going to do us much good. 
I think we're going to have to fight our way out of this. One, two, three. And since it's, she's in hand-to-hand -hand combat there, we're going to have to use our, our phase sword, which is plus two. Three, that's a five. He's gone. He does not hear because there was no shots fired. It was actually a fight action. So that's not a... Hmm. So she was quiet in her kill. If he had made the fight action, they would have hurt. He would have hurt it and gone on alert. Um. Boy, this is a, a real tough call. He has a stamina two, and we don't have the fight actions to to drill this guy. Hmm. This guy does have. An ability to hit two but I think what we're going to do is we're going to stay here we're going to take a shot with the Exodus weapon he didn't move so we're going to get plus two oh, it wasn't a fail so that's one one miss and the second one at least he hit because he did not move he's gone that goes off alert We've got one guy on alert. Oh boy, we got a mess here. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna fire at this guy. The minute he came into sight, he sees him. Uh, we're gonna use our pistol. Two with no bonus. That's a four. He's gone. And he stays there because that's his final action. So we got one guy on alert. So here we go. This isn't going to be pretty. Let's see what these two cards uh, pull up. Oh, way to drop a die. I ruined my taping, huh? All right. I'm not worried about it. I'm sure it's not enough time to edit out. All right, so we got a real mess on our hands here. We're going to move up... Uh, we're going to take the chaos turn here. We're going to move that up to five now because obviously uh, we caught a break there. One of our both our assassins are in the open. We're in a lot of trouble here. We got one guy on alert, so he's going to be heading towards this assassin. We pulled two event cards because it's one card plus the guy that's on alert. So let's see what they say. All renegades. Add an additional plus one to their die roll. When performing a shoot action, including those made as a result of a reaction attack ability, until the start of the next chaos turn. Well, at least another guy doesn't come out, but they do get plus one. The Net Titans. Place one chaos cultist with an auto gun at entry point one. All right. Let's keep on going. Another Chaos Cultist with an autopilot at entry point three. Oh, awesome. All right, that's two. Three is here, okay. And a Chaos Cultist with an auto pistol at entry point five. Each Renegade is placed facing the arrow. It is in direction. Okay, five, five, five. Oh, man. This is not cool. Not cool whatsoever. So there we go. Well, it could be worse. No, it cannot. <laughs> All right, let's start our movement. Let's start with uh, the cultist over here on patrol. And he's going to move six. One, two, three. You cannot go past a cultist. So there you go, he freezes there. That's in the rules. Let's go to the next guy. He's got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy here. Five. One, two, three. So he turns this way. Four, five. So he's patrolling that area. 
the space uh, cast space marine. Three, one, two, three. Thank God we're keeping this guy behind. This guy's got two wounds and he's a real pain. So we're, we're in a bit of trouble with him. All right, this is the guy that we really got to worry about because he's now facing this way. Let's see where he's going to end up. All right, three. So he goes one with a turn. Two, we're going to roll the dice, see where he goes. Uh, four. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. All right, that's not that bad. That gives us some freedom here. This guy here. Oh, he only moves one. How awesome is that? So he's going to move here for one. No, he goes on. Yeah, he would move towards. Within sight? No. Is the assassin within of a renegade and within sight? No. Has the renegade already moved during short? Yes. Okay, that's it. Alright, we're just checking. Uh, I want to make sure that we have this right. If the renegade performs no further actions, no, he does not go near there because he had already moved. That was already negotiated, so he stays right there. All he does is his normal movement of one. Um, Roll a dice, Renegade moves that many square towards the closest assassin. If he's on alert. No, no, I was wrong. So he moves towards the closest assassin. Who's the closest assassin? It would be him, yeah. Okay, so I did that right. Okay, we got that. They have a nice flow chart here on Renegades on alert. So on the back end, you every question if you get a no to it or you get a yes it pushes you in a different column the book is very well done makes this game a lot easier to learn so what happens is because he's on alert even though he does not have him in visual sight he heard a noise he is going to go against the arrows and move towards the closest assassin and that's the way it goes so now we have to negotiate just these two guys here and let's see what happens here Excuse me, Chaos Lord. Two. One, two. Still good. Not in anybody's sight. We can still get out of this cheap, I think. And then finally that guy there. Two. He's going to move up. One, two. There we go. All right. So that's the Chaos turn. So now it's back to the Assassin. Let's keep on going with this. We seem to be getting a pretty good flow here. So I like to keep going. I hope I'm not boring the hell out of you guys. I'm trying to keep this you know moving pretty good so as the assassins we've got our three assassins here we're really kind of in a pickle here we've got to make some some very big decisions and I think one two three four five six and that will not get him but he could get another sprint action Hmm. Six, we can reveal that and then he can know because he still would only move and have to deal with him. We're, we got to get rid of this guy on alert. We have to get rid of him. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now what does th that does is a couple things. All right. First of all, we have to turn this over. Shuffle these up. This is a one card. So whatever I pull here. Okay, and you see I'm shuffling. Hopefully we get one of the things that we need. We've got, ugh, of course one of them was turned over. We've got six cards left. We've got five, six spaces left. We've got to get these control, the control room and this teleport. So let's see what we can get here. So I mix these up pretty good. He turns over one card. Let's hope it's something we need. And guess what? It is complete epic fail. Not only did I turn over a card that we don't need, but there are two chaos guys to go with it as well. So we are in very, this particular guy is in very, very bad shape. And one is in pistol range, one is in hand-to-hand -hand combat range. So this guy is going to take out this guy here, hopefully. Uh, 
Oh, and he fails on it on top of it. So this is a total mess. Because now, not only does these two guys appear, okay, on their turn, we've got three guys on alert. That means that's three cards, and this is this is this is just going horrendously bad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We, you know, we have to, we have to take some chances here. Um, we're gonna pull out these two. It's for two room room cards. And six and twelve. So the six goes down, and she's in a bad way now, because there's two cultists right there. And it says here, if there's nobody with an auto pistol, I mean auto rifle, you put somebody with an auto pistol. So they've got two there. So she's going to take a shot. She has, oh man, not only that, but they're both on alert. Well, let's find out what happens with her. You can only be on alert. Okay, uh, so you get two, roll two dice, five, kills this guy. Got one guy there, so that guy's on alert. And boy, are we in a world of hurt here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not cool. One, two, three, four. All right, we can get him inside there and hopefully take this guy out. And he has a uh, execution pistol with no bonuses. Oh, double one. Oh, that can't that cannot get any worse. Hmm. Boy, that was about as bad as it goes. But I can use my prismatic tactic. Ever since assassin can perform an extra action this turn, so we gotta roll those dice, we gotta get that guy out of there. We have to. And we do. That's close. Hey, Mame. Hi. You're gonna ruin my taping, aren't you? Yep. My lovely daughter. Alright, so that is all the assassin's turn. And we are going to do the chaos turn. And I think we just might stop there. Eh, maybe we'll keep on going. Uh, what do we got here? We've only got four of these tiles left. Oh man, we're in a bad shape here. We've got to be able to clear out this area and be able to teleport. This guy's got to somehow survive. Uh, we got three people on alert. So let's get this going here. This is not going to be good. We move our familiar up to six. Okay? It means only ten more turns to kill the Chaos Lord. And good luck with that because he is not, not easy to kill. He gets plus two. I mean, he's going to do some damage. Whew. All right. I was just looking at his abilities. I'm sorry. Plus, he's a plus six. Wow. All right. So these two guys are safe for the time being. This guy is a mess. Let's negotiate all these guys first. We've, uh, wait, before we do that, I move the familiar. Let's stay in order here. Forgive me. I get too excited. We can, we draw one plus one for each renegade on alert. There's three renegades on alert, so we are drawing four cards. One, two, three, four. Hopefully it's something good for us. I doubt it. All right, the net tightens. Here we go. Place a cultist on two. Okay. And place a cultist on four. All right. Well, that's that's not the worst thing that we've had happen. So that's one card negotiated. The gods are pleased. Move the familiar forward one square on the on the ritual tracker. Oh, that's great. So now we've only got nine turns. Uh-oh. 
This is a psychic event. All renegades add an additional one to their dice roll when performing fight actions, including those made as a result of a reaction a attack ability, which means that when all those guys go on alert, they automatically fire on the next turn until the start of the next chaos phase, unless they're fighting the Colexus Assassin, which... No, they are not. Ghostly Tide. All Chaos Space Marines are stunned until the start of the next Chaos Phase. Well, that helps us. So, we're going to put a stun marker so he doesn't move at all. So, let's do this. He moves one. Not bad. He moves two. One. Let me roll to see where he goes. And he's going to turn that way. All right, that's it for him. Let's see what he does. He moves three. One, two, three. All right, so, so far, so good. This guy here is going to move three. One. Uh-oh. Two. Three. So he sees him now. Oh, man. He gets a reactionary shot. First time in, in each phase that the assassin moves or sprints into an unoccupied square that is within six inches, line of sight, on alert. No, he just gets to fire. So he's going to fire at him. He has an auto gun. He's going to fire two dice. Oh man, I hope he survives this. Four, so he's fine. So he took his turn. But, because he fired, he's on alert. Oops. That's a wound marker. So he's on alert. We've got the entire, we got the entire board almost on alert. This guy is going to go... Uh, oops, why am I rolling two dice? Let's just roll one. Don't these guys have an advantage enough? One, two, three, four. Let's see where he's going. Five, six. So he's there. And he sees him. So he's going to take his auto pistol. Auto pistol. Shoot. Just once. Oh, that was rolling on a six. That would not have been cool. He is on alert. Awesome. Uh, let's move these two first before we get into this disaster. Four, one, two, three, four, five, one. If he goes forward, he's frozen. Yeah, he, they're both staring at each other. They cannot go through each other. Um, wow. And he's in the way, too. All right. He's going to fight him. It's hand to hand. Fights it with fist. He rolls one dice. Nothing. He's going to fight him. One dice. Nothing. He's going to shoot him. He gets two dice. Uh, five. No. Oh, but he gets plus one because of this card. That's only on fight actions, not shoot actions. That was a shoot action into him. The fight actions, even though they had plus one, did not do anything. He's all right. So now we've got, wow, we've got a bad situation here. We've got to take out some people, and we've got to get out of dodge quickly. Wow. So until next turn, but it doesn't matter. All right, so here's what our boy's got to do. He's going to shoot here with one die. He did not move, so that's plus two, which is enough to kill him. He's going to shoot over here, which is a plus two, and he misses. Wow, that was horrible. He's going to use, no, he cannot. No, he can use... Oh, Pulled it from the wrong, the wrong guy. Um, 
He's going to use that to uh, one of his abilities to get a free action. He's going to take another shot at him. Oh, and he fails again. I'm rolling ones like a fool. So he's in a lot of hot water. He's done. She is going to take a shot with her Neo Shredder and kills him. So that's another one off the board. So we're going to take him out. He's gone. Now she's got to move one, two, three, four. Oh boy. Yeah, she can move right in there, four. But she crosses paths. And that was within one, two, three, four. No, that was not within four squares. I mean, six squares. So that's fine. She moved. And now we just pick the top card. Ugh. Doesn't do any good. And auto pistol right there. Great. On alert. Great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now he's going to take a shot at him, and he will use his executioner pistol. Kills him instantly. Awesome. Takes that off. All right. So those two are all right. That's blocking there. This guy is. There's a mess here. Those guys are all there. He becomes unstunned. We have three alerts. We're going to move the counter up to eight. It's not looking good for our guys. We've got three rooms left. And boy, it would be something if we have to go back here to put the last thing. So somehow we've got to get lucky and get that on here. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't think these guys are going to make it. So, let's pull our, because these three are on an alert. One, two, three. Let's see what happens now. Unholy transmutation. This is a psychic event. Until the start of the next chaos phase, all renegades have plus one resilience unless they are within six inches of the cultus, which he's dead. <laughs> Awesome. During the chaos phase, whenever a renegade on patrol moves into or over a square with two or more patrol arrows, the player chooses which of those arrows the renegade will follow instead of randomizing. That's awesome. Choose a renegade that is on patrol. That renegade immediately goes on alert. Uh, well, let's roll. Let's roll dice. Uh, we'll split it up here. Since these guys are on alert, it'll be one of these two guys or these guys. One, two, three, somebody over here. Four, five, six over there. Of course. And of course, we're going to make it worse for ourselves. We're going to make it the guy that is in the open space. Wow. That is just totally uncool. All right. So here's the way it's going to go. Let's. Uh, since we negotiated all our cards, let's roll to see where everybody's going. He's going one. He's turning that way. He's going six. One. Oh, uh, because we can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy here. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. Um, four, five, six. Okay, this guy here. He's gonna move one. The Chaos Space Marine. One, two, three. And which way are you gonna go? Four. Wow, he stayed out of the way. Uh, this guy here. He's not gonna move. He's just gonna shoot twice. He's not gonna move. He's going to fight twice, he's going to move and turn towards him and fight twice, or uh, fight once. So let's just negotiate this right now. So he's firing twice, uh, auto pistol, I'm sorry, 
That doesn't get two. Two. Two dice. Needs a six. Oh, but is it plus one? No, it's plus one resilience. So he misses. He's going to fight. He's going to fight twice. Once. Misses. He's going to fight twice. Oh, once. He misses. Wow, these guys are just having a tough time against them. Let's make sure that we're doing this right. Uh, on alert. Bop, 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 bop. No, okay. Oh, and they get a free fight action. So he gets a free fight action because he's on. So they get another fight action. So let's just make sure that we got it right. Okay, finally, they got a wound on him. Oh boy, he's in trouble. So we're going to put a wound on him. And. Oh, we used a blind grenade on him, too. Wow. <sighs> All right. So those guys are done. Still on alert. This guy is going to move six. One, two, three. And because he's on alert, he's going to the nearest person. He gets to perform a fight action and does not. And he rolls one more time. Nope, does not. This person is moving. Five, one, and it's going to be two, so that's, that's one, two, three, four, so that's where he stands. Oh boy, this is a real mess. I don't see how these guys are going to get out of this. It's going to take nothing but a miracle. Alright, so let's go to the assassin turn because things are going to be really, really kind of messy here. Hmm. If we lose another assassin, I, I may even call the game and say that they're not going to make it, but let's see. All right, so with that said, let's start with our assassin here. He's going to make a shoot action. It's one dice, plus two, and kills him. So he's gone, so that's one alert gone. This guy is on alert because he's within six inches of a fight action. He's on alert. Now he's going to, because he's in close combat, he's going to fight this guy with a fight blade. And he misses, but he's going to use his last token. And a three plus two, no, plus one is four. And he kills him. So that helps a little bit. Uh, let's put this token over here. This assassin is going to, while standing still, use her fight sword, which is plus two, a four. That'll kill him. That gets rid of that alert action. And she gets a, because she did a, she can get a free sprint. So it's a hit and run. She can use her sword and perform a free so she can move six. So it's one, and that's perfect because she wants to fight this guy right here. Oh, we may get out of this. So now she's going to use her blade again because that was a free action and gets a five, kills him, gets rid of the token. So we're only at one alert token. Oh, this is interesting. So now. He's going to be able to move one, two, three, four, and he gets to see both these rooms because he's within, and he can see all he can see that room and that room. So we get to turn both cards. All right, on a positive, there's the teleporter, and but there's that right there. I wonder if you have to see all six squares. You can't because there's something in the way here. So I'm going to say you can't see that yet. He would have to go over there. So he's going to shoot him from that distance. And what is his shoot weapon is a plus one. And phew, he misses. Uncool. Totally uncool. Oh no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. 
I was looking at the wrong card. He gets two dice. Okay, that's a lot better. He's dead. Sorry, folks. All right, so that's all our assassins. Somehow they came out of that pretty good, uh, believe it or not. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Well, no, I'm going to leave the camera here for right now. And the reason being is because we may have to work our way to get to this final spot. It really comes down to what's, what's the next card. If the control room's there, they can teleport. And that's a big one. So, in order to get everybody off, we have to teleport. So, let's see what we can do here. Um, hmm. Alright, so it's the Chaos turn. They move up to Space 9. Things are getting kind of edgy because you've only got... Uh, seven more turns, if that. Uh, these are good until the start of the next their next turn. And the people that died, even though they had a resilience of one, we still beat them because of the abilities that we had. So we were able to beat them by more than one. We, um, I did follow that that card. So we got one person on alert. So we've got two cards here. So let's see what we got. Random sweep. Roll a dice. Place a, cult, a chaos cultist with an auto gun on the entry point corresponding with the result. So what do we got here? Three. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Oh. Not cool. Right there. All right. If you roll six, I'm gonna place the calls on entry six. Okay, so the next thing is random sweep. Same thing again. So we're gonna do it again, five this time. So we're gonna put him on five. All right, so we got this all set. Let's just move these guys and we're gonna finish our, this cult, uh, the turn here. And we're gonna find out what exactly happens here. All right, so let's start with our movement here. Six, one, two, three, four, five. That's all he can go. We're going to move him. Four, one, two, three. That's all he can go. Uh, he's going to go five. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. We're going to move him. One. Uh, Space Marine. He moves one, which is a blessing. Uh, we're going to move this guy here. He's going to go five, so he's going to move one. He's going to see the assassin, and he's going to perform an attack. Since now he's on alert, he gets two dice. Nothing, fortunately. So we're going to put him on alert, which means that this assassin is going to have to deal with him. Uh, The cultist here, since he's on alert, oh, unbelievable. Killed her assassin with a six. The assassin is a goner, dead and off the board. So that's two assassins gone. Uncool. The Vindicator assassin is dead, valiantly. This person's no longer on alert because they killed the assassin. So we've got a mess here. So that's the end of that particular turn. Should be able to finish it up and get it up online tonight. Talk to you later. All right. We're back here. We got a real mess on our hands. So let's see what's going to happen next. It is now the assassin's turn. We got this guy here. We've got to get somebody on this teleporter because we've got to hope that this room is the room that we're looking for. We've got to get rid of him because he's on alert. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Oh boy. That's a mess. If we go into him, I believe because of her ability, hit and run... 
she can perform a free sprint, so maybe we can get enough to do the damage. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. She's going to hit with her sword, which is plus two. And that's enough to kill that guy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll her sprint action, which is only a two. Oh, man. But one, no, that wouldn't be enough. One, two. That's all we can do right there. <clears throat> so he's actually got to come one, two, three. See everything here. And hopefully this is the control room, which it is. And there is no symbol. So now that we have the control room, we can possibly teleport over here. So, hmm. Oh boy. Now we gotta make a sprint move. So, alright, we're gonna try our sprint move. Hopefully, we get a four better. And we get a six. So, that's one, two, three, four. Both, both assassins now teleport. So, Let's see what happens here. And now we can kind of center in on on the end of this and see if these two guys can actually survive this. Okay, roll three dice one at a time, please. Uh, so the first time an assassin uses the teleport to the Temple of Shades, the Temple of Shades receive reinforcements. Remove all Chaos Space Marines from the Astropathic uh, Sanctum, which is our area here. Roll three dice, one at a time. Place one new Chaos Space Marine on each of the Temple Shades entry points. Oh, okay. Wow, that stinks. Wow, this is not going to be cool. Alright, so let's do this. So what we're going to do is everybody gets cleared out here. So for the sake of time, I'm going to keep quiet. And basically what I'm going to do is I'll edit this out. So I will come back after this. So And we're back. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the board in place. So we can see what, what is going on. We've got two assassins left. Uh, one with all their uh, abilities. She has a poison blades and her special ability. Um, the cultists, we can forget about them. We have three chaos space marines that are going to be teleported or they're going to be placed. Uh, one's going to come in right here and because where it's coming, it's going to go where the facing is, so it's facing towards here, so it's going to come around. There's a block here that they cannot go through. The next one is on six, which is totally appropriate. And finally, on four. Boy, talk about putting them right where you don't want them. So this is not going to be fun for our... our our assassins whatsoever. So let's take a look at what's going to go on here. We have our two assassins here with all their abilities uh, pretty much used. Uh, we still have poison blades. I know we have three of them. Uh, the Callius assassin can re-roll the dice after failing to score a hit when performing a fight action with the four uh, with the phase. Okay, that helps. Uh, Renegades now have line of sight. Oh wow, we could use that, but of course I didn't use it. So there we go. Um, I'm just gonna put these cards. Well, well, we're more concentrated on the board. I have the cards here, so I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. The Chaos Lord is. <clears throat> He has an ability, the first time in each phase that an assassin moves or sprints into an unoccupied square that is within six squares and the line of sight of the renegade who is on alert, that renegade will perform one free shoot action. 
not the assassin. If there, if this square, if that square is adjacent to a renegade, that renegade will perform one free fight action. So I believe that we go through the same chaos steps, which kind of stinks <laughs> because you have these chaos marines, and then oh wow, all surviving assassins teleport, remove all models and counters from the final phase of the mission will be fought solely in the temple. So these renegades will will come in here. They will enter as normal, providing we pull them up on the on the card. So if they're within view, they will get a free shoot action if uh, if they're within six in, uh, six inches. Meanwhile, the Chaos Lord is just nasty. He gets two dice with plus two. Fight with Force Slave, if they get in hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's three dice at plus two. Wow. Cash Space Marines are two with plus one and two with plus one. All right, so here we go. So we've already teleported in. This is all set, so the Assassins get to go first, and they're going to get moving here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five and six so we're in a bad way right there six um, I think we're gonna move five because I don't want him to see us and nobody's seen us yet so let's see what happens here uh, hopefully we can stay out of sight one two three four five and we're going to stay out of sight here move six and we're going to try to get in and, and get him uh, while he's doing what he's doing so um, now it's the chaos turn we move our dial nobody's on alert random sweep we're going to roll a dice place a chaos space marine we already have them all out so they cannot this card does not have anything to do. Once you place all the, the cast space marines, you cannot place any more. So that turned out all right. So now we're going to start movement. He does not move, or does not need to move. He's staying there to cast the final spell, unless he's attacked. Uh, let's start with this guy. He's going to move five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. This gentleman here. It's going to move one, which is a blessing in disguise, because we can get in there and possibly do some damage. Uh, one, another one, so that's awesome for us. Now we can sneak in and maybe take this guy out, and maybe get some shots on here with a stamina three. Uh, let's see, the first time each in each phase the moves or sprints into an unoccupied square that is six inches within the line of sight of a renegade. They get a free shot. Wow. So we've got no choice. We've got to go after this. One, two, three. Um, one, two. This is blocked out. Three. Three. The minute he moves in here. So the minute he moves in here, he turns around. He's going to get a free shoot action. He's going to shoot with his his combined melta at plus one. That is a six, and that's one hit. So he's taken one wound already. Awesome. Um, shoot. Um, he's got no choice but to try to use a heal to try to heal that wound. And on a three, he does. So we're okay. Um, Chaos, the, that means he's on alert, which is not cool. He's on alert. And here we go. One, two. Of course, the minute he goes into sight, he's going to get two shots. Five plus one is six, so she takes a wound. Oh, this is not going well. And... So then what we're going to do is she's going to ha also have to roll to heal a wound, which she's going to. And that's going to take care of that. Uh, 
that's the end of that. So we're going to move the familiar up one. We do not want to block the familiar. If we do, that is not cool. Uh, and here we go. So we're going to save him for last. We're going to save him. He is going to move. He's going to move four. One, two, three, and four. And so he's on alert. Oh, no, wait, hold on before we even do that. All right, we'll save that. Because there's two guys on alert, we have to draw three cards. Whoops. Sorry about that. Bear with me. Unforgivable last. The chooser may... The player may choose a renegade. That renegade is stunned until the start of the next turn. There's no renegades on there. This card is useless. The prophecy fulfilled. All renegades on patrol are, and are within six squares of an assassin immediately go on alert unless they are stunned. No renegades. Random sweet. Here we go. Uh, place a cultist with an auto gun. Three. Oh, wow. Right there with an auto gun. And because he's there, he goes on alert. And he gets a free shot. Wow. Not cool. Um, auto gun cultist. He rolls. Six. Oh, wow. That's just bad luck. And... And I believe he gets a second action. Nothing. Wow. And a third action because that was a free one, so nothing. This guy's going to move. He's going to move one, so fortunately that's all right. But he's within six squares, so he's on alert as well. So we draw four cards, guaranteed. Um, he's going to take two shots. He's got two dice. Fives. Plus one, that's a wound. Uh-oh, and he gets another shot. Fives plus one, she's dead. Uh-oh, this does not look good. Two dice. Dead. And that is our game. The uh, Chaos Saucer Lord now casts a spell and completely darkens the star out. And the assassins have failed. As you see, once you get in here, this is like impossible. It's hard enough to get in here. You've got to get in here with all four guys to even have a chance to survive. They did not make it. And uh, we gave it everything we had. Uh, I may have made some mistakes. I hope I did not. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I like to get these painted up and maybe do another run through uh, with, with some people here. Uh, make it a little bit more fun and, and have you guys watch us play and interact. Um, I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions about the game, anything that pops in your head or seen something that I completely screwed up, do me a favor. Leave a, leave a message below and we'll get to it. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for watching this. Um, stay tuned for our next walkthrough, which will be Temple of Evil, Heavy Steam, which is another uh, one that we'll be doing this week. And then finally, the big one. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. A frequently asked questions um, I am actually going to put out for Ben Borzema of Dawn, Rise of the Oculites. Uh, I think the, the manual was very good, but uh, a lot of people I've talked to have some some problems or understanding it so what we're gonna do is lay out the game and make sure everybody understands how this game plays out so I'm looking forward to doing that I hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you next game thanks thanks for watching